Welcome back. Some of you are already getting started with your Thanksgiving prep, but there's nothing worse than waiting all day for the food and holding your appetite. Oh, yeah, it gives me stomach pain. <laughs> so joining us from Baldwin Restaurant Group is Jeffrey and Gabriella Baldwin. Good morning. Thanks for coming Hi, in. Good morning. Hey. Thank you for having right, guys. us. Hey, you know, you know, Jeffrey, you got the wine going already. Right. Gabriella, <laughs> let's start with the food, though. Tell us a little bit about the appetizers, and you're going to create something for us as well. Yeah, so uh, Thanksgiving prep can be really daunting. And an easy, impressive appetizer in my book would be Brian Crout. En Crout means wrapped in puff pastry. Um, it's a French classical term, and it's just really delicious and decadent. So I start by rolling out my puff pastry. And with a big roller. With a All big right. metal roller, or a big uh, marble <laughs> roller, I'm sorry. Um, and then it's really as easy as uh, rubbing your Topping of Desire, I picked Fig Jam because mm. it pairs so greatly with uh, Jeffrey's wine over here. Now the Fig Jam's a little sweeter, right? It is. Okay. And I love Brie because it takes on the flavor of whatever you put with it, whether you want to go sweet or savory. You just put the whole hunk in there. I was going to say, you just, you the just whole put hump. all the all cheese right. in the middle. <laughs> Do the whole, just go, go big or go home on this one. And then that, is that egg yolk? So this is egg wash. Egg wash, um, okay. This includes a little bit of the whole egg and, um, and water actually. And it acts as the glue. It does. And then you fold this, really easy guys, and you go into the oven at 350 for about wow. 20 to 30 minutes, or we could use that thing that everybody's using now, the air fryer, mm. 400 degrees for eight to 10, and you're done. It's golden brown. That is really like pretty. That. That's, that's, that's like impressive. That. And I yeah, like the way you've done the board you. and you've arranged it with meats. And it's like elevated and charcuterie. Right. All right, so that's part one. You got the appetizer <laughs> down so you can feed the belly. Now, Jeffrey, you're gonna feed the soul with some wine. <laughs> yeah. So why don't you tell oh, yeah. us about maybe what pairs with this and about some of the other wines you brought Absolutely, in. absolutely. So I, uh, I thought, you know, Gabrielle's dish is a little bit sweeter, so I'm gonna try to contrast that and do something a little more savory. So I have in your glass mm. a red burgundy, which mm. is Pinot Noir, mm -hmm. and it's more mm. on the savior side. It has more herbaceous notes, and it it has a little cranberry on the finish, but it's absolutely delicious. That's great. Um, I, these wines are coming from our wine club that we just gave our members uh, this past month, and um, I thought, what great wine to pair with uh, Thanksgiving wine, right? So That's delicious. Just, Absolutely. Yeah, this is smooth. It yeah. goes right down. Mm -hmm. There's no mm -hmm. bite or anything like that. It I'm really always big on other yeah. herbaceous wines, so yes. I'm glad you brought this one in. Really yeah. nice. Now, yeah. you guys also offer a whole different kind of selection of wines, too. Is there any other one you want to touch on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these are the wines from the wine club. This wine, though, we have a beautiful event coming up with this family-owned winery. It's their second generation. Gabrielle and I are second generation. They're going to be joining us from... Paso and Napa, and we're going to be hosting a four course, four paired wine dinner on December 4th. Very nice. Yeah, we're really known for our uh, big events. We do cooking classes every month, and then the wine events are just really elevated and decadent, and uh, it just, it's just quite the scene to be sought. Yeah, you have a cooking event actually coming up uh, in December. Why don't you tell us a little bit we about that? We do. One? The Ribley right. or the Holiday, the yeah, Elevated. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah so um, we came up with this idea to do this elevated, small uh, scale cooking class and uh, we decided it's going to be based on like the luxuries of New York uh, City during the winter time. So I'm from Ooh. New York and it's like the plaza from Home Alone, Central Park, walking through and seeing the snow glittering on, on the trees and seeing that Rockefeller Center tree. So um, it's really like old school luxurious um, menus hitting with yeah. amazing wine pairings. It, it'll be at Jay Baldwin's on December 12th. Uh, also, um, Black Friday coming up, uh, we have a huge gift card sale yeah. coming. Uh, $20 complimentary coupons with a $100 gift card purchase, along with a $50 gift card purchase gets you a $10 coupon. So I'll drink to that. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers to you that. For the event. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers to that. Guys. Now we should this also guys. mention, yeah. I wrote this down because I really want to remember to talk about it, the Dasher Room, the Expert's yes. Pop-Up. Oh. The Dasher Room. I usually oh. don't take notes, but I couldn't forget that. <laughs> uh, my mind was wandering this morning. I like your like, cheat sheet. Do you know right. The That's Dasher good. Room is it's for those on the naughty or nice list. It's one of Metro Detroit's most sought after Christmas pop-ups. We have a secret uh, cocktail menu. The room yeah. feels like you're just sitting under a Christmas tree. It's just enchanting. It's very immersive. It's, yeah. Yep. And, and we're decorating Jay Baldwin's holiday room as well because we're going to be doing uh, lunch starting on Friday. Mm -hmm. We're going to be opening for lunch starting at noon and uh, bringing back some of our old classics. It hasn't been since the pandemic that mm -hmm. we've been Yeah, uh, back by that. popular so. demand for sure. Oh, that's sure. nice. Now, I have yeah. to ask because a lot of people are going to be eating turkey in the next couple of days. When it comes to pairing the wine with turkey, Jeffrey, yeah. uh, what do you go with? Yeah, so you want to stick to like some lighter style wines, right? So I, I did bring a secondary wine, which is a Cabernet Franc. Um, that's for your darker meat, right? So you can get, you can stay fruity, but um, you want to touch down on the body a little bit because we have lighter style, leaner meat that we're going to be enjoying. 
Um, so this Pinot Noir would be perfect. This Cabernet Franc from Finger Lakes, New York would be excellent. A rosé to warm up with, and of course, a Beaujolais. I love Good choices. Nice. I mean, all <laughs> this is great. And, and you, you can't know? forget the champagne. No, <laughs> that's no. right. A little champagne. That always makes a <laughs> day go smooth. definitely can't forget that. Yeah. Hey, this is a great spread. The Baldwin Restaurant Group. Thanks a lot for coming in yeah, thank and you guys. showing thank us you. about pairings and about yes. this great brie appetizer. It looks so simple. I might even try yeah, it myself. You should. That's if I can't fit that in my pocket. You never know. <laughs> sharing some wine before 9 a.m. Yeah, thank you very much. That's, 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 that's the best way to do it. <laughs>